My name is David Thomas and I run DT HR Solutions, an HR consultancy based in the West Country. Part of what I do is to offer online training for managers and supervisors, particularly those who are new to the role. I'd like to tell you about an upcoming online course that I'm running in conjunction with Marketing West and I'm going to go through run through the sessions and tell you what we'll be covering. The first session will cover the basis of leading a team, explaining what it means to actually lead a team to better performance and lead a team successfully. We're going to have basics such as giving feedback, understanding what coaching is and the basis of starting to coach your team. Our second session looks at how to try to get the best out of our team, realising how people are different and have different strengths, will react in different ways and need to be managed differently so you can get the best from them. We'll also touch on setting targets, all part of getting running a successful team. Our third session gets us to look a little bit more of ourselves, see about the skills that we need, thinking about how we can listen better, how we can work in a way that our team will react better to us and progress better under our leadership. We'll also cover the area of fair treatment, covering grievances, how we can deal with people in the workplace who are unhappy, who have a problem. Our fourth session leads us to look at the disciplinary process. As a new manager or supervisor, you may not actually have responsibility for this, but it's really important we understand how the disciplinary process works, how we can play our part in using it to correct people's behaviour, not to punish them, but to correct people's behaviour. And also we see how that process ties in with the grievance procedure, which we discussed in the last session, and also how all that is underpinned by using good judgement, and we'll look at some tools that help us do that. The final session focuses on communication, the importance of it, how we can do it well, and how we can imp improve our employee engagement, i.e. get them feeling part of the business, wanted to perform and provide a positive working environment. We'll also touch on absence, how absence is an important thing that we need, something we need to tackle and we can do it successfully by being conscious of what we can and can't do and not be afraid to face into the situation. And as this is the final course at the end, we should look how you can make an action plan to go forward and to use what you've learned to be even more successful in your role. So that's the basis of the course. I look forward to seeing you on that course. Thanks for watching.